Hey guys, what's up? So in this video we are going to see how to use Heroku tool belt, some common and very useful commands. Okay, so once you have installed Heroku tool belt on your system, you will log into the system by writing this command Heroku login. It will ask for your username and password. And once you are done with your things, you can just write Heroku logout and you will be logged out of your system. So this is this simple. So it's like you have your application um, using a Git system deployed on Heroku, but nothing on this particular system. But since just you have installed Heroku tool built, you'll be able to do a lot of things with your application by just logging into Heroku and just logging out of the Heroku. You'll be safe that everything is gone from. I mean, nobody can again go and do something with your applications using Heroku tool. So it's like that. Heroku login to log into the system, do your things, then Heroku log out. Okay, so I have already logged into the system, so we will, I mean, I'm not going to log in again. Okay, so first command, so there are so many commands for Heroku tool build. So first command is like Heroku apps. So what this will do is like, this will give you the list of all the application that you have on your, Hero, your Heroku account. Okay, so Heroku apps. So here yeah, it is looking for the applications and you can see the list of the applications that I have currently on my Heroku account. Okay, so these are applications. So you can see how useful is this. You can just see the applications here. Okay, so that this command is for looking for all your apps. Now next command is you just want to see the configurations. I mean environment variables that you have set for your application on your Heroku system so for this this is like Heroku config so this is going to give you error because you will have to tell okay which application you are talking about every application has some different set of environment variables okay so you will have to tell it the name of the application so I'm just going to uh, take this application So this will now give me all the environment variables for this application. So it will say, okay, your database URL is this, and uh, gem path is this, and Heroku Postgraduate. I mean, you can see, I mean, uh, rack environment, Rails environment. So this is the simple. So to get all the environment variables, you can just do thing like this: Heroku config, then name your uh, name of your application. Okay. So if you want to set your um, environment variables from the command line itself sometimes it's like you want to give your username and password for your email account and you don't want it to be part of your code then you can set it in your environment variable and you can do it from here itself okay so what I'll do is that Heroku config set this is the name of my application and then I'll just uh, one environment variable of name my name and I'll just do it like okay so this is the way I mean this is so simple to set an environment variable you do it like this now let's see at like whether this is done or not so here you will see I have been successfully able to set an environment variable from the console itself. You don't have to go into the system. You just don't have to log in into your this deployed application from the command line just because you have installed Heroku tool built, you are able to do it. So that was that. Now next thing. Next thing that I'm going to do is like I'm going to get into the bash of this application. So for that Heroku run bash dash a then name of the application a is for application name okay so when I run this now this is going to connect me to the bash of the application so here yeah, yes so I'm into the bash and now ls and now I can see the directory structure here okay so this is where this is now I can do the cat command cat gem file and you can see like all these things this is I mean typical rails application and you can see uh, the content of this file now I'm going to get out of that bash okay again now I'm back to my local system so that was me logging into my application deployed on Heroku just by writing Heroku run bash okay 
so and now since this is a Rails application what I can do is like I can also get into the console if you are some Rails guy then you will know we do it like Rails console so how do I get into the console of this application from the command line itself this is the thing Heroku run console so now what it will do is that it will take me to the Rails console of this application so I'm not on that system I haven't logged into that system I'm just using Heroku tool built to get into the console of that application so everything is happening remotely here so you can see here this is so cool I'm now inside my Rails applications console okay so previously we were in the bass console now it's like rails applications console now I'm, i can write here active raker queries i can write so many queries here okay so i'm just get out of here so that was the one command now my this application gentle cloud 5136 it also has some database and i want to get the information of the database so heroku provide another command so using this command and providing it providing it with the name of your application you can get the information of the database behind your application so first of all in Heroku by default we use PostgreSQL database so that is why this is this command so if you are using anything else then the, the structure of this command might be different but if you are going with the PostgreSQL then this is the command that you will write to get the information of your PostgreSQL database information connected to this but I mean the application that you have given in the argument so I'm just going to run this command and now it will give me the information about my database connected to this application so it is working yes so here you can see that dev this is the type of database I'm using PostgreSQL version database size rows and folk allowed and not allowed created so it's like 16th of october 2012 this was created status available so i got the information of my database there are ways where you can get into the database console as well but we are not going to look at that we will look at it separately when we will be specifically talking about the database um, access that you can take using the tool built so this is just a general discussion now you have your Heroku application I have one here now you want to see the live log okay from here itself like people will be using your website and you want to see the live log so Heroku provides you with this Heroku logs dash t dash t means continuous live log um, I mean feed okay so I'll be getting the live log of my system so there won't be any because the system is not up so you will not see anything but so actually there is some problem with the application but this is the command that you can use to see the live log of the application of your application okay now the last command that I want to discuss in this application is this if you are a rails person then you know there are many a times when you have to run migrations to make changes to your database so how will you do it from your Heroku tool belt I mean this Heroku utility that you have been provided with how will you run your migrations so it's simple Heroku run rake db migrate and then dash a and then name of your application so just writing this you will I mean this is similar to like logging into the system and then running rake db migrate so just Heroku run then rake db migrate the name of the argument so I mean you might be sitting remotely on any system of the world and just because you have installed tool build and you have logged into the Heroku system you can run this command from that place you don't have to have the access okay so the access part will be done by Heroku so now you can see like the Heroku tool but utility why is this thing such a great thing okay so definitely give it a try so these were some basic commands and in future we will see some more ad advanced commands uh, related to Heroku tool build so that was all for the time being thank you very much